welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. Today's video is all about whiskey and scotch tasting and how you can host a whiskey tasting at home. Drinking scotch or bourbon is a matter of choice and for some people it's a pleasure but it can also be quite intimidating if you're new to the subject matter and you don't know what you do. Good news is you should drink what you like because that's all that matters. There are thousands of whiskeys out there and unfortunately it would be very costly to try all of them. So in order to refine your palate and to figure out what you like and what you doesn't like it pays to have a whiskey tasting. That way if you find something you like you can branch off and find similar ones that tastes like that one that is your favorite. Before we go into whiskey tasting, it's important to know that whiskey with just a Y is Scotch whiskey from Scotland and whiskey with an EY can be whiskey from Japan or Ireland or the US. At the end of the day, bear in mind, it's just terminology and it really doesn't matter. Drink what you like. So what are your options if you want to refine your palate and get to know more about whiskey? Number one is go to a local bar and check it out. The advantage is you don't have to buy the full bottle and you can just try whatever the bartender recommends. The disadvantage is that usually they're quite limited in their selection and you just have to make do with what they have. In my experience that can be rather costly because a regular bottle that costs maybe 60 or 100 bucks in a store will run you about 20 bucks for a single shot. Option number two is to simply just buy a few bottles at the liquor store and see what you get. The problem is you have to buy the entire bottle and even though you get a bigger bang for the buck than at the bar, you may end up with something you don't really like and it's an entire waste of money. Also, it doesn't make sense if you have a small group of just four people because you end up with a lot of whiskey afterwards and if you don't like it, it's a waste. Option number three is to go with a tasting service like Flavier and they send you samples in 50 milliliter sizes which is larger than a shot, which is great if you have a few people in your tasting group, but is a lot less than in a bottle. Flavier also curates the selection for you and provides a blind tasting opportunity. So you get a card with A, B, and C, and your tasters don't know what they're tasting, so it's a true experience, and at the end you can reveal what they were actually drinking. So if someone brags so they can taste the difference of different ones, you can put them on the spot. What I really like about Flavor is that you don't have to do the research because they do it for you. Also, once you've found something that you like, they have a flavor matching algorithm that finds bottles and whiskeys that are very similar to what you liked. Then you have the option to either get a sample that you want or you simply order the bottle and they ship it to you for free. Best of all, if you like to have your buddies and friends over for whiskey tasting every once in a while, you can sign up for their quarterly subscription box so stuff comes right to your home you simply have to sign for it, but it's set and forget and it's a really great deal. Also, with over 15,000 spirits, the breadth and depth of the whiskeys they can get to you is unmatched. To learn more about Flavier and their subscription box service, simply follow the link below where you can sign up. Usually it's by invitation only, but they provided us with a link that allows you to get on for sure and give it a try for yourself. Of course, you can just enjoy your whiskey and talk about it, but if you're a little more serious or if you're a slightly larger group with maybe some connoisseurs, it pays to offer pen and paper so you can have some tasting notes. Once you're done with the tasting, you can compare them to the flavor tasting profile so you see if you can taste the caramel or the citrus notes or maybe it just tastes like honey to you. If you have larger groups, it pays to break everything down in groups of three to five people. That way it's more intimate, it's fun and afterwards you can have panels maybe and compare your tasting notes. If you've never hosted a tasting before, I strongly suggest to hire someone who's a whiskey expert and can guide people through and talk about maybe the different regions of the whiskey, where they come from and the different flavors. It's a lot more fun that way. If that's not an option, Flavor basically provides you with all the information you need to host a tasting successfully. At the end of the day, it should be tasty and fun and not intimidating. In terms of glassware, the gold standard for whiskey tasting is the Glencairn glass. It's like a snifter, it's perfectly, it's a small size so you don't have people who are drunk and hammered but it's enough to get the full flavors out with your nose and with your palate. You can find the link to get those glasses below and they're on Amazon shipped with Prime and they're quite inexpensive. Normally you should pour about an eighth of an ounce per person which is just enough to taste it and you won't need a spittoon because at the end of the day it's expensive spirit and you should drink it, enjoy it and not just waste it. If you want to bring your whiskey tasting to the next level, 
you can combine it with maybe cigars, maybe some chocolate, or other things to nibble on, such as cheese with interesting flavors that complement the whiskey. Of course, you don't want to overbear the senses, and so it pays to have some coffee beans which help to neutralize your nose, so you're always able to basically start at zero when you have a new whiskey. If you want your whiskey tasting to be special, send out a handwritten invitation that shows people that you really put some work into it, and they're a lot more excited to show up. If you want, you can even set a dress code and make it a fun evening event. If you've seen ads on TV, you often see whiskey with ice, but I suggest to skip the ice entirely because it's too cold and it suppresses the aroma and the flavors in the whiskey, so you can't really taste what's going on. One thing that I learned is that when drinking spirits, it really pays to add water because that doesn't make them weaker, but it actually opens up the flavor because just like ice, alcohol at high alcohol levels can suppress flavors. So by adding a little bit of water, not only does it go further, but you also get different flavor profiles of the same dram of whiskey. That way, if you have three whiskeys, you get six essentially different flavor experiences, which is a nice side effect. In today's video, I'm wearing a double-breasted 6-2 flannel suit with a white window overpaint. It's a Vitale Barres Canonical fabric. It's a custom-made suit. I'm pairing it with a white dress shirt and I have a pair of red carnelian with sterling silver cufflinks that I pair with a malachite and sterling silver ring because red and green go well together. I also have a slightly pinkish silk knit tie, also from Fort Belvedere, as well as a pocket square in dark burgundy red with tones of green and blue because that goes well with my brown suede shoes and the green shoelaces, as well as with my ring. My socks are a dark two-tone shadow striped charcoal sock with turquoise stripes. Because they're two-tone, it works well with the green in my outfit as well as with the grays without being the exact matching tone. The shoelaces are green, they go well with my ring, and it's just a fun way to spice up the look of your shoes and create an entirely new outfit. As always, you can find these accessories in our shop here. If you want to learn more about whiskey tasting and how to host a whiskey party, please check out our in-depth guide on the website. And if you want to learn more about flavor, check out the link below. Thank you.